Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm a visual artist, teaching artist. Uh, so today we're going to be um, doing some observational drawing, so developing on observational like uh, skills and um, in art. So uh, a lot of times as artists, we um, interpret and observe the world around us and create art out of it. And um, observing, um, seeing um, our surroundings is one of the biggest inspirations to the work that we do. So this is the focus of it, is how we can observe the details around us um, and the importance of that, that skill development. So, um, so you're gonna grab just like a blank sheet of paper. Um, uh, and so you're gonna grab your paper. And so when, when we think of observational skills or observing, um, what comes to mind to you? Uh, for me, what comes to mind is uh, I'm looking at something and I'm, I'm seeing how it's shaped. How does it look like? Um, and then I'm seeing the reflection of it. Does it have shade? Uh, is it um, is it a certain direction? Um, and then I'm looking at things around that. So is it, um, is this object in a city? What kind of setting is it? Is it like in an urban setting? Is it in a city? Is it like in a, um, either like rural area? Are you uh, looking at um, a space that has trees? Or does it have buildings? cars like what are you know, when you're looking at something you want to be mindful of looking at everything around what you're creating so um so i'm gonna imagine right now i'm in the beach i'm in the ocean um or i'm i'm at a beach somewhere in the tropics uh and so what i'm looking at is i'm looking at the ocean um, and then I'm thinking, what time of day is it? It's, it's kind of morning, so it's sunrise. So these are things to keep in mind, time of day, uh, where are you at, where's um, your scenery at? And so um, you also can be imaginative and just imagine a space, a scenery, or a background. It doesn't literally have to be what you observe, but you do have to be mindful of like making sure that the things that you want in your scenery are there so like for your uh, for the person that is looking at your artwork to also observe and think about and so um, so we're gonna get to drawing together and creating art so I'm gonna make an ocean background so when I think of an ocean I think uh, or when I think of a beach I think of the ocean so I'm gonna put a straight a line just across my paper and so this will be my ocean water this will be my sky and so when you want to when you're sketching out always sketch with a pencil that way it's easier to erase and easy easier to cover um, when you're painting or coloring your art so so here's my ocean and then i think when i think of a beach um, scenery or when i think of uh, when i'm looking at a beach i always see palm trees so I'm gonna draw a palm tree here, um, and if you're doing your setting like in a like in a different like in a city, um, have you are you looking at buildings? So you want to draw what um, that out. So I'm drawing out my uh, palm trees. So remember, you're just sketching with a pencil, so you don't have to go really in detail. Uh, it's just a rough draft for you to like know where, what you're working with. Um, and so there's my palm tree, uh, my ocean. I want some sand. So I put the waves coming in, and then the sand, uh, and then you want to think about what time of day it is, or um, if you're making a real realistic drawing, is it day, is it night? And so I, as I mentioned earlier, I'm doing a morning sunrise, um, beach kind of scenery background. So I'm putting my sun coming out, and then I'm going to put my rays, some rays, and then the 
uh, reflection of the sun in the ocean. And so then I have my my, base, my basic sketch of my scenery, and then um, and then I want I want some clouds. Um, so you want to think about: is it a sunny day, cloudy day? What kind of day is it, um, weather-wise? And then reflect that in your if you're making a realistic realistic drawing. Um, so, so I have my clouds. Um, okay, so you have your basic sketch, and then you're going to start uh, filling it in with, with different colors, textures, um, shading. Um, so this is like where you have, as an artist, the creative ability to create your, um, your drawing based on your own individuality as a creative being. So it doesn't, um, so you, so in this component is your creative freedom, so you, you can explore and also experiment with colors, with textures. Um, uh, so there's different types of art forms. Like this one is mostly like a realism, realistic type of drawing. But also if, you, if your style is more kind of like um, more abstract, that's completely fine. Um, the purpose of what we're working on right now is developing our drawing skills and how we can observe um, around us to be developing multiple skills to uh, create artwork. So, um, so that's mostly what the intent of you working on this is. So, um, so I grabbed a micro pen. Um, so micro pens are great because they're water resistant. So, um, but if you don't have a micro pen, just any water resistant marker works perfectly. And so with this, you're gonna go over um, the areas that you want to bring out in your drawing or so see how I'm kind of starting to bring out my palm trees and then my ocean So I have a basic sketch, and then now with the pen, I've been able to highlight and bring out um, the areas that I want to paint. So, um, so with this, um, you can be experimental. So I have um, some watercolor brushes. Um, so usually. The watercolor brushes will have a little brush uh, next to the side, so that's how you'll know their water. Um, you can use them with water and blend with water. So, um, so if you if you go to the store and you see color markers and then you see watercolor markers, it's the water base that um, that I'm using for these tools because then I can blend with um, other watercolors. So, I'm kind of gonna do um, an abstract realism piece. So. The plants, the trees, and the everything's not going to be the actual color of like what you would think a tree looks like, but um, that's like where I'm going to allow myself to be creative and um, experiment. So you could do the same. It's up to you, kind of. So I'm going to color it in, and you want to make sure um, you take your time with the, with um, coloring it in and filling it in. Um, as an artist, we spend a lot of time drawing, so it can literally take 30 minutes to like hours. So I could be drawing for 12 hours, the most to five hours a day. And for me, it's like time doesn't exist in, the, in like that continuum moment. And a lot of artists are the same. We just like kind of lose track of time when we're um, doing our artwork. So, um, so so take your time, you can always set aside your piece and then take a break and go back to your artwork. Um, so don't always feel like you need to finish your artwork in one take, especially if you're doing an observational piece. Um, you wanna be very 
mindful of like the details. Um, so take your time. Um, it's okay. There's no good or bad art. There's just art. And so, um, so even if you don't feel your artwork is like how you want it to be, it's all part of the process. It's all part of the learning process of developing those skills. So sometimes I look at my drawings from even like a year ago and I'm like, oh no, like this and that, you know, but that's like we're as artists our biggest critics. And, um, and it's always good to like be mindful of that, that like art is always going to be like interpreted different by um, every, every artist. So, so, um, so we're developing our, um, our observational skills and this process as we're thinking of the textures in our tree, like this palm tree, you want to think of the shading and the like the silhouette of your tree in comparison to like the, the colors in the background, like the background of the sky, the ocean, and the sand. So, um, and so I'm using watercolor pencils in this, and so I'm blending with water. So uh, if you, in case you were wondering, so this is water, um, and then I, I went over a little bit um, with uh, pencil, watercolor pencil, and then I'm spreading it out with a brush and water. And then you can, um, you can continue um, highlighting as you go. So that's the cool thing about watercolor pencils is you can continue um, coloring on top of your artwork and it blends easier. So take your time, don't feel you need to um, like uh, rush through your artwork. Um, and that's like a, one of the, that's actually the reason why we're practicing observational skills because it helps us take our time to observe what we're creating and what we're looking at to uh, create an artwork versus just wanting to like rush through it and get it done. So that's what we're really focusing on is like taking time, um, reflecting on what we're seeing, what we're working with, um, and what we're trying to um, visually share with others. Um, so our, our visual arts um, is a very interactive uh, art form. So we're always like um, interacting, like as creative people, like, um, either with other artists or just like with the materials we're working with and so it's okay to experiment like with different colors to see um kind of like what um emerges out of it so i always encourage my students like to uh, mix and match colors and see how they look like just because um it's cool to see like um the chemistry of art like when you mix different colors what comes out of it so you can also always use watercolor brushes so they're just kind of like little brushes but they're water based so you can always blend with all the other watercolor materials and so these you can start um creating that texture for your ocean oh, this one's i gotta replace the light blue one so you can see and then i'm gonna spread it out and then Bend it in with the watercolor pencil. And then I'll use some liquid watercolor, some blue liquid watercolor to continue texturizing. So um, you can get experimental with different materials you have. Um, if you have crayons, that works perfectly. If you have markers, also like that works perfect too. So it's up to uh, you. So this one kind of already jumped out on me. So I'm just gonna spread it out. Um, so usually I just do like droplets at the top of my brush and then start blending it in. And so. And um, I always tell my students there's no good or bad art, like I mentioned earlier. There's, um, and if you feel you made a mistake, what I always think of mistakes or when you make an accident, it's like learning process. So 
Uh, it's not really a mistake. It's like you're just learning um, something and then you're going to learn to do something differently next time. So, so those are kind of like what I tell myself so I don't like feel negative about like what I'm creating. So like always um, encourage people to talk positively to yourself when you're making art because it's a very vulnerable space to like be with yourself and then when you share it with others it's incredibly like a vulnerable space because then you're open to like people's interpretations of your artwork so that's why like when you're creating always be gentle with yourself and don't don't like um don't feed into like that negative artist talk that we as artists often tell ourselves like that we this isn't good enough or do, like don't don't tell yourself that when you're creating um, because it's, it's not going to help your, li your lifelong creative learning process. Because everybody in every field and every art form makes mistakes. We all do all the time. And it's part of human nature. So, um, so why beat ourselves up for that? Or um, when we can just enjoy the process and then when we're done, we can just reflect how we felt about it. So, um, so those are things to keep in mind when you're observing is like, how am I treating myself in this process? Um, am I drinking a lot of water? Am I, am I, am I like um, giving myself breaks to rest my hands? Because you're just pretty much working with your hands a lot as visual artists. So remember, your hands also need to rest and they also need to take time to, uh, to, like, um, to rest so that you can have energy the next day to continue creating. So be mindful of your body too. Like if you're exhausted, don't rush yourself through the process. Um, just, um, yeah, and I have some artwork that I made like in 30 minutes, and I have some artwork that's taken me like months to create. So it, it, there's no timeline for this. It's, it's up to you. Uh, so always check in um, with yourself. How am I doing? Am I okay? Can I take a break today and go back to it? So right now I'm gonna take a small little break from this so that the colors can set in. Um, and then um, I'll fill it in and then I'll finish it. So um, it will probably take me like hours to finish. So I'm not gonna attempt to finish it for you in this video, um, but I will show you some other artwork that I have made prepared for you. So, so this is kind of like a background I made for like a garden scenery. And so you can see the different the different shading for the flowers. Uh, I made like a sky, like a uh, kind of like a cloudy, but like a summer sky kind of day because flowers, springtime, summer is what comes to mind. So I wanted to create like a very vibrant um, piece. Um, and then I made like a, this kind of like a universe, like looking at the moon, like I'm observing the, I saw myself as like, I'm in the moon and I'm looking at the earth kind of background. So this that, that that's like my creative interpretation of like uh, being like a uh, creative astronaut <laughs> as an artist. So always use your imagination. It's like the best thing as an artist is when we are imaginative and we're like use our words to also like convey our imagination visually too. So don't be afraid to like create your own words for the artwork that you're making because the, it's your space. It's your creative self uh, expressing itself. So, um, so you can see here, like I use like different um, patterns, like for like the stars and then the skies and then, um, yeah. So the, so the most important thing about this lesson is not so much the art itself, it's about the process. And so what you're working on is developing a skill which is drawing that could be used for a lifelong uh, journey of learning and creative self and creativity. And remember, each artist has their own drawing style and technique. So uh, I encourage you to continue developing those. Uh, and then hopefully when I'm old, I can see this amazing artist from Seattle that watched this video, made this incredible artwork. So. Thank you for your time, and um, my name is Maria. I hope you had fun.